and here is the prodigy himself, the 18-year-old from Ipswich, Sam Walker. He's only young, but he's been training the house down in pre-season, and just a energizer bunny who just plays off the cup and plays what he sees, so um, yeah, he's good to play with. Comes across to Walker. He links up with Butcher! And it was the 18-year-old halfback, on debut, who served it up on a platter. I felt really comfortable, really fit. I've got my family there, obviously my dad and my uncles have gone through it as well, and so they're always there to help me and support it. And Robbo is just a terrific coach, and he you knows just how to sort of guide me and mentor me. He's a very good player and he knows what we think of him and that was a really good temperament game to start his NRL career. And there was a young man under a whole stack of pressure <laughs> and his name was Sam Walker. The field in the seven jersey made famous by a bloke at the desk. Did you have him in your supercase? Broke the giver playing the seven <laughs> jersey. No, I, I did have him in my supercase. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, good on you, mate. 42 to start of the game. Yeah, right. yeah. 42 to start of the game. I know. That's what I asked. <laughs> so, before we talk about that performance, there's some highlights going on in the background. I want you to tell us what you've been doing with Sam Walker over the last 18 months. Me? Nothing. Nothing. He's done it all on his own. He's a tremendous kid that just. Um, he's grown up as, you know playing football in the backyard, and that is his strength. So do not take that creativity, instinct, ad lib away from him. For him to date the next level and be a really dominant, uh, consistent halfback uh, for the Roosters for a long time, he needs to just get his knowledge up. His football IQ just needs to improve. The only way he can get that is through training, performances, but he has got a lot of top shelf skills that uh, a lot of uh, young kids will never get, and he should never shy away from that. Stick to what you're good at. Have you worked much? Have you worked one-on-one -on -one with him? Yeah, yeah, a couple of times. But you yeah. just keep it simple. You just think that it's Levy's natural instincts, his natural yeah. ability. Oh, I've told him 95% of the stuff that he does already, I'm not going to touch. Okay. The only 5% that I try and work with is some strategy around why he runs. If he can understand why he ran or threw that pass, then you've got a player. He just does it at the moment just because of pure instinct. But once he starts realising, oh, that defender shouldn't be there, oh, I'm going to take him on, mm -hmm. that's when you'll get a really good ingredient together for a dominant halfback. So what are you looking for then? When you're trying to coach that into him, what are you saying to him? This is what you need to see to run. This is what you need to see to not run. Yeah, well, a lot of halves and young halves, they'll go from eyes to the play the ball and then eyes to where the opportunity is outside them. To be a dominant halfback, you've got to create for yourself first before creating for other people. So your eyes have got to go see what's in front. Is there something on for me? Nah, OK, then I'm going to someone on the outside of it, as opposed to just going straight from left to right past it because the eyes will tell you what to do, and then your instincts just take off on the back of that. But he's going to get tested physically, there's no doubt. He's playing against some big, big boys for the first time in a while, and he's going to have to you know, put his body in front, put his head in some places that's going to hurt, but uh, he did that last night. He did, did he? a great job. Yeah. You, was everyone happy with him at the Roosters? Yeah, was yeah. Robbo happy with his performance? What? Yeah, I haven't spoken to anyone, but um, yeah, I'm, I sat on the couch and watched it, and yeah. Yeah, he, he did a really good job. I think a couple of the, uh, the nice really touches, the one he set up for Nat Butcher, that, that's, that is Sam Walker yeah. mm -hmm. in a nutshell right there. But the things that I would like to improve is you know, a couple of his first kicks, a yeah. couple of his defensive tackles and getting his body in front, but that's all things that you learn. Yeah, he's like a magnet way. for space, like he's a, yeah. I don't know if you've seen uh, his father and his uncle's teams at the Jets play, yeah. but that, that they play this thing called contract football where it's your responsibility to advance the ball where op the opposition is not. So Sam's almost been brought up and this natural instinct honed in him that he, he just knows instinctively where space mm. is on the football field. He, he moves towards it, he can promote he the glides. ball towards it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He glides. And so when he came down, and Cooper and I had a chat last year when I was in lockdown again. Uh, <laughs> Playing golf. Uh, a bit, yeah. <laughs> about the fact he was working with Sam, like you could not get two more polar opposites yeah, than yeah. Ben Walker and Kurt Cronk because Ben is very much eyes up, it's, ad lib, yeah. instinct. I didn't have the creativity that this kid has. Like, Kurt I had the structure, so I'm thinking to myself, this is going to be like the perfect <laughs> apprenticeship, you know, to come from where he's come yeah. from, to land in the lap of this bloke here and teach him another side of the game. Yeah, so right. it'll be interesting to see where he lands. But, Bryce, you would have thought his, his first performance yeah. was a pass yeah. mark? Yeah, of course. Well, well, and, 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 yeah, he's, he's on debut for the Roosters and so much expectation and so many eyes on him to play the way that he did. He just looked like a natural. He looked like he was at home, and that's, that's a compliment. To Ben's point about you coming in and your polar opposites in your approach to the game, how has he received your education? 
Uh, yeah, we talk, we catch up, but he, he still picks up my phone call, so I obviously yeah. get it some But do you have there. to try and sell things to him? No, 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 he'll come to me. Um, there's no doubt that um, my idea of coaching isn't to tell young halves what to do. It's for them to work it out themselves. I'll lead them down the path, but it's for them and their own journey to work out because there's no better way to learn than learn on the run and learn by yourself as opposed to being told by someone what to do. Coops, who do you think is going to be his halves partner? Is it going to be Hutchison? For the remainder of this year? year. Do you think it'll stay that way? or? Uh, I think Lachlan Lamb will come back. And he'll come straight three to that, four. do you think? I would assume okay. so, yeah. yeah. Well, what's the All tip? Right. What are you thinking? I don't you know. had a conspiracy theory building Not conspiracy. There. I mean, I mean <laughs> we ba ba Buzz had a mad tip the other night and said that Hutchison was moving to nine and Mahanu was moving to five eighth, which I didn't mind. That would work? So Ali to the centres, Morris, uh, sorry, to the wing, Morris into the centres. That's something that I thought moving forward would, would be a pretty formidable side. I like it. Uh, and Manu's played a little bit in 5-8. Yeah, I think you've got to put some uh, stability around Sam Walker in the first stages. Yeah. And then once they find their feet, then you can add some uh -huh. some other layers. The other thing that, that Buzz brought up is the in the NRL, since the NRL began in 98, uh, the, the youngest halfback to win a competition was Daly Cherry Evans at 22. Mm. How tough is that going to be for the Roosters this year with an 18-year-old at seven? Yeah, very tough, but this kid's not the average 18-year-old, so don't ever put a ceiling or cap anything on anyone because mm. uh, this kid can play and the Roosters mm. have really enjoyed his um, being out there on the field.